Hi you guys, good morning. Starting the vlog, it is Monday, March 1st. We are officially in March, hallelujah. I cannot wait for the warmer weather. It's like slowly started to stay lighter out later and it makes me so happy. I think um, spring forward is this weekend. Like I'm so happy. So I obviously have not gotten ready yet today. It's about 12 o'clock. Um, I just put out, so over like, and think like during Thanksgiving, um, while well, I'm making some eggs, they're about to burn. Love that for me. Okay, the eggs are off the stove. Um, but over Thanksgiving, um, we got a free turkey because if you shop at ShopRite during like I think it's October or November or something, and you spend a certain amount of money, they give you a free turkey or a free ham. So we have this turkey sitting in our freezer for well since November. Um, so I'm just giving it to one of the local families here. I don't know, I just asked like on a Facebook group um, if anyone would be interested in a turkey and someone said yes. So I have that sitting on the front porch. Hopefully she comes to get it soon. I'm literally orange, you guys. I literally, look at this, look at this. Yep. Self tanning, no, no. I literally fell asleep. And by fell asleep, I mean I did this purposely. I literally put my two hour express loving tan on and went to sleep. Because I was like, oh, I'll wake up so dark and bronze. Like, yes. Yeah, no. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do not. Do not. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what that is. But I have to film a little update on my mattress, which before I even insert the sponsored clip, let me just freaking tell you, this mattress is amazing. It is so good, hands down the best mattress I've ever had. It's specifically made for plus size bodies, but Dan, my partner who you know is average sized, sleeps on and he loves it. He says it's the best mattress he's ever slept on too. So it's literally so good. So more about that later, but I'm gonna eat these eggs, throw some makeup on, clean up my room a little bit. Also, I'm in the process of redoing the office. I feel like my office was just like, too white like not enough pizzazz I don't know so I felt like it was a little bit looking like a nursery and like that's just not the vibe that I want for my my office space so I am gonna do like a whole video on how I redo my office on a budget I think I spent around $300 maybe like $330 and the whole the room's gonna look so different so yeah um, that's gonna be exciting too. So I have like pieces coming in. I ordered off of Amazon and also Ikea. Yesterday we went to Ikea and I picked up two lock shelves and like this little console table. So the office is kind of a mess because I wanna like clear everything out kind of to get like a before. And then also we have like the, the console table that Dan built. So it's just like, it's in pieces, but I'm so excited. Anyways, hope you guys like that video that's coming soon. But all right, let me eat these eggs and throw some makeup on. Okay guys, so this portion of the vlog, I did partner with Helix Mattress and I'm so happy to be partnering with them because to be completely transparent with you guys, this is hands down the best mattress that I have ever slept on. And you guys know that I've tried a few. Um, this one is just, it's tailored to my body perfectly. So what I did was I went on their website, I took their quiz, and they determined which mattress would be best for me based on my answers from that quiz. So this is the Helix Plus. Um, personally, I am a side and stomach sleeper. So you just like enter that kind of information in. I believe I entered in my weight and my height and my partners, all that information. Um, and they came up with the Helix Plus. Now the Helix Plus is so comfortable. It uses their highest density foam to be sure that you have the most support possible. It also has that extra layer of foam so that you have the most comfort possible. Now personally, my experience with mattresses are, I always spend a lot of money on a mattress, especially because I have a king size bed, so you know that they're always a little bit more expensive. I ended up buying a pretty expensive mattress a few years ago and the entire left side started dipping like bad like really really sagging and dipping and like it was almost like the other person was just like rolling off the bed <laughs> at that point um so with this mattress i've had this mattress now for about i want to say six weeks 
It was delivered at the beginning of January. Right now we're on March 1st. I can't even express to you guys how comfortable it is. And it's not even just comfortable for me, it's comfortable for Dan. And you guys know Dan is like average sized. And so like he was a little nervous, to be honest with you guys, he was a little bit nervous and apprehensive about getting a, a mattress that's designed for a plus size body. Cause he's like, I don't know if I'm gonna be comfortable. Is it gonna be super firm? Is it just gonna be like, uncomfortable for me and he is in love with his mattress we also have two helix pillows and a pair of helix sheets and daniel cruz guys himself literally is like going on helix website and ordering more pillows he is completely sold he's obsessed so i know i know you guys don't know him personally but he is very picky when it comes to things that he likes and he is in love with this so the helix plus is a hybrid design so it has both springs and foam so the benefit of having springs and foam is it allows for more airflow to get through the mattress rather than just foam that's like densely densely packed you have those springs so it keeps you a little bit cooler at night i'm somebody who does sweat at night um, my legs get really hot because we also sleep with a down comforter. Um, and I definitely have found that I sleep a little bit cooler with this mattress compared to my old one. One of the great things about this mattress is you don't have to worry about how it's going to get to your house. If you have a big enough truck to get it to your house, it's literally shipped in a box to your doorstep. Um, I have some footage here of when it arrived and how we got it upstairs on the bed. So I'll insert that here. does the mattress come shipped to your doorstep for free but they also include a free 100 night sleep trial so if you get the mattress you're sleeping on it you're not sure about it and you end up not liking it for some odd reason because honestly like I would buy this mattress 10 times over they have that 100 night sleep guarantee so you can just send it back and get your money back all in all I am 100% obsessed with this mattress and personally from the bottom of my heart like transparent as I ever could be I would repurchase this mattress 10 times over and over. Like I do not wake up sore. I get a great night's sleep when I do sleep because I have sleep issues. But when I sleep, I have the best sleep ever. I'm in that deep REM sleep. I don't notice Dan moving as much or he doesn't really notice me as moving as moving as much. I'm someone who I kind of have to find that like, you know, comfy position to be able to relax and fall asleep. So I do move around a lot he's not disturbed by it anymore like before he would literally like wake up and feel my movements every time i would move now he doesn't even doesn't even notice it so i really encourage you guys if you are in the market for a new mattress and if like you know because of covid and everything you're not 100 percent comfortable going into the store please give helix a try they are 100 percent customized to you and your body type and how you sleep and all of that you just have to take their sleep quiz it's hands down the best mattress I've ever had. I do have a discount code for you guys. I will leave it in the description box down below. If you use that code, you click that link, you can get up to $200 off your purchase. Lola agrees, she loves. <laughs> so please do yourself a favor and if you need a mattress, check out Helix. Again, the link is down below and just do it. <laughs> okay, you guys, it is about 5.30. I just got done filming for the day. I ended up filming the Shein haul. Where's my phone? I ended up filming the Shein try on haul as well, which trust me was a long video because I definitely had around $500 worth of clothes and stuff. So I got that done. Oh, it's almost six o'clock. I need to start making dinner um, as I just sat on the couch, but I was gonna make pork chops. I took them out to defrost this morning and they're still frozen solid. So, so, <laughs> um, I'm gonna call Dan and see if he wants to pick up a pack of like chicken breasts from the grocery store on his way home and I can make those. Or we do have leftovers from his mom's, from his parents' house last night. They had us over for dinner. She made this, she is such a great chef, seriously, but she made this like uh, enchilada 
casserole kind of thing in the crock pot and it was so good and she made spanish rice with like vegetables in it it was amazing so honestly we may just have that um i'm gonna call him and see what he wants to do but yeah, we'll probably just end up making the pork chops tomorrow. I was gonna do pork chops breaded with panko, which is usually how I make pork chops. I'm not a fan of pork. I don't know why. I just really only eat chicken, turkey, and fish, like seafood. I just don't like beef that much, and I don't like pork that much. I'll have it occasionally, but it's not like my go-to. I was just gonna do like a breaded pork chop with some roasted sweet potatoes and green beans and maybe like rice or something for Dan or a salad or something like that. But yeah, I guess let's just see what he wants to do. I'm gonna call him, hold on. Okay, just talk to Dan. So he said that he doesn't care either way, but he's obviously still working. So like at six o'clock, he's supposed to get home. He usually gets out of work at five, but he is like jam packed with work. So I just said like, don't even worry about it. Don't go to the grocery store. We'll have the leftovers. I'll end up making the, Salmon tomorrow, pork chops Wednesday, and then Thursday, I won't be home or Friday. So yeah. Oh no, I just Instacarted some mango. Okay, okay, okay. I am like on a mango kick, you guys. I don't know what it is, but I'm obsessed with mango right now. Like mango chunks, mango spears, the cut up mango from the grocery stores. I need it. It is so good. So I just Instacarted some mango over here because I'm not going out and I don't want Dan to have to go out. So yeah, love that for me. I'm gonna do the dishes and clean up a little bit. Look who's home. Hello. Oh my God, just as the toaster goes off. <laughs> Guys, I got in some packages for the office. Remake, redo, makeover. Can't wait. Also got that from Ikea, love. Um, also got curtain rods. That came in. So excited. And CBD oil for the dog. <laughs> yeah. I ordered some Rescue Remedy and Royal Paws Royal CBD for the dogs when we leave them so they don't have separation anxiety. So, love that. Having leftovers. Love. Loving. Having Mimu's haircut. Love. <laughs> oh, we just finished dinner. What time is it? Eight? 8.30. 8.30. We're watching Gotham. So Dan's been watching Gotham now for like... Ever. Ever. And I I have to say, like, I actually got into it. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. Yeah. And it wasn't like on Netflix originally. It was on for like TV, but just binge watching it on Netflix has been oh, so easy. This whole series was on TV? Yeah. Oh, so it's old. Yeah, it's a little older. Oh my gosh. It is really good. So we're watching that. I want to start The Flight Attendant on HBO Max. I've been thinking about it all day, but I didn't have time. Oh, it's on HBO Max? Yeah. Remember? Because Michelle was... So Michelle was telling me about it at Eddie's Did little get Max? birthday dinner. No, she wanted your password. Oh, that's right. Your info. <laughs> but she was telling me about um, The Flight Attendant and that it was like really good. So I think I'm going to try that upstairs later when like Dan goes to sleep. Um because <laughs> he literally, the second his head hits that pillow, he's done. He's out. Mm. Uh, so yeah, we're just hanging out, watching some Gotham. I got my mangoes. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm like just obsessed with them. It's It'll be done in a couple days. I'll be over it. But right now I'm like in love. And Dan's having this Archer Farms light ice cream. So it's basically like, if you guys have heard of like Halo Top or the NYX, um light ice cream it's like a low calorie high protein ice cream but archer farms came out with some which is at target and they're a fraction of the price of like a halo top or a nyx like nyx by me costs five dollars and fifty cents per pint and the archer farms one is about like three dollars and thirty cents and it's so good hey 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 get out here so dan's gonna try his first bite on camera i've already had like two of them not today but like throughout you can eat the entire pint for like 380 calories so it's like you can eat it and then not feel guilty they got some good flavors too like this one is caramel maple bourbon pecan pie like so good so like i love pecan pie so and you love bourbon <laughs> yeah but we're on a bourbon break right now so yes we're on an alcohol good. thing i want to cleanse here cleanse for lent it's pretty good uh-oh, he hates. 
It's good, actually. I feel like... the caramel flavors. Yeah, look at it. It has literal, like, swirls. Oh, and I can taste the bourbon. It's not like... I mean, like, I love real ice cream. He does, yeah. But it's it's pretty good. To me... being, like, a lighter ice cream. I can't really tell that much of a difference. It's still just as creamy to me. It's not bad. It's not bad for a light ice cream. Right? Yeah. Like, so you've tried Halo Top. I feel like Mm -hmm. Halo Top... I personally thought Halo Top wasn't bad. I mean, it definitely has more of, like, a grit. I feel like Halo Top has a little bit of, like, a grit to it. It's creamy. That's creamy, though. If you're looking for a high-protein, lighter ice cream, check out the Archer Farms one. It's pretty good. I'll be eating one later tonight, but first, my mangoes. (laughs) Giving you guys an Arrow Garden update. Look at our little herbs. They're thriving. The only one that never grew was Thai basil, but... I feel for you, Ty. I know, same. <laughs> They're thriving, though. We love. It's really good. Go ahead, babes. Go ahead, what? Go ahead, do what you're doing. Man, you can't catch me. Do what you're doing. <laughs> yep. Mm-hmm. Mm. You love it? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So... Since tonight's Monday night, I typically will like refill all our vitamins. We've been really trying to take a lot of vitamins because <laughs> you're insane. <laughs> um, because I feel like we just don't get enough vitamins throughout our day, like what we eat and stuff. So I'm on a little vitamin kick. I'll show you guys what we take. First of all, I got our cute little pop, like you push this button and the thing pops open from Target, these little pill boxes. So cute. This is our entire bin of vitamins. <laughs> Looks a little excessive, but okay. So Daniel gets a B12. He gets a men's. Ow, oh, my nail. He, right? Yeah. <laughs> he gets a men's <laughs> men's multivitamin. He gets. Oh, this is mine. He gets a fish oil. He gets a. Vitamin D, and I think that's it. Oh, no, no, and a vitamin C. So these are all of the pills. These are all the vitamins that Dan takes. Now, I take basically everything, but I'll show you what I put. I have a couple, like, different things of mine. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, we also were taking magnesium, and then the both of us ended up having, like, really wild vivid dreams and like a hard time waking up after taking this right the magnesium too wild wasn't it yeah don't take magnesium not at night at least yeah it's not good i i don't know if it's just us like at first i thought it was just me and i was like being dramatic or something but then when dan started telling me that like he was having crazy dreams too i was like okay and then i looked it up and people said that um, magnesium actually does it can give you like vivid dreams. So we don't take that anymore, but yeah, no, this is his little lineup. So I'm going to add his into his pill box here. All right. So Dan's vitamin box is full. He'll probably end up taking his vitamins here in a second. And then I end up taking Almost the same. So I take the fish oil, the vitamin C, the vitamin D. I have a women's multivitamin. And then I take a myo and, I can't pronounce this, myo and D chiro inocidal, whatever. Um, And then I take my antidepressant and two Benadryls a night. So yeah, that's just the difference. I was, well... I tried this one night, the vitamin B12, and it's like a dissolving tablet, and it literally tastes like a Tum, and I can't do it. I freaking hate Tums, and it's just disgusting. So, (laughs) if I can find a vitamin B12 that is like a swallow pill, I mean, the reason why they give you the the quick dissolve vitamin B12 is because the vitamin Bs apparently can like upset your stomach um, if you just take them in the pill form, but I just cannot stomach the chalky dissolve flavor of these it's just disgusting so i don't take those but yep that's my lineup so this myo and d inocidal basically 
is the same thing as this Alani New Balance. So this balance is $50 a month. This one's $19 a month. So I bought this off of Amazon. The reason why I take this or this, it's basically like a women's hormone support um, vitamin. It helps improve mood, supports complexion, brightens skin, um, weight management. It just kind of helps with all of those things. The only issue with this, is this the new bottle? Oh, this is my, hold on. I already bought it back up because you have to take four of these pills. That's like the uh, serving size and they're like pretty big tablets. So um, yeah, this is great for like hormone support and just overall well-being. Of course, I'm not a doctor, so definitely just don't take my recommendations. Do your research on vitamins, see what's best for you. But yeah, this is what I take. Is so this is my vitamin box compared to Dan's and that's just because that one vitamin you have to take four of. So, yep. All right, we're gonna take these vitamins and I'm gonna take this makeup off, get ready for bed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Wanna say bye? Bye.